Hello students today we are going to read and understand chapter 2 that is how the dog found himself a master before we start you may know that the dog and the wolf are closely related you may also know something about how over the centuries human being have domesticated and tamed wild animals here is a story about how the dog became a tame animal so introduction dogs and wolves belong to the same family rather dogs have evolved from wolves another fact is that over the centuries wild animals have been mastered and tamed by man this story informs us how a dog changed to a tamed animal now let's read and understand the chapter this chapter has 10 paragraphs paragraph 1 dogs were once their own master and lived the way wolves do in freedom until a dog was born who was ill pleased with this way of life he was sick and tired of wandering about by himself looking for food and being frightened of those who were stronger than he so in this paragraph ill pleased means old fashioned way of saying not happy freedom means liberty wandering means to move here and there aimlessly and frightened means afraid of so dogs and wolves are closely related family and there were times when dogs used to wander and live freely just like wolves without any restrictions or constraints one such a dog was born who was sick of finding food for himself and was unable to move freely in search of food he would feel tired and was scared of healthier and stronger beings paragraph 2 he thought it over and decided that the best thing for him to do was to become the servant of one who was stronger than anyone on earth and he set out to find such a master in this paragraph servant means helper who works for others and master means owner or ruler so after thinking repeatedly he decided to work as a helper to someone who was the strongest or the most powerful on this earth so he started searching for the strongest one paragraph 3 he walked and he walked and he met a kinsman of his a big wolf who was as strong as he was a fierce where are you going dog the wolf asked i am looking for someone to take up service with would you like to be my master wolf i don't see why not the wolf said and this agreed upon the two of them went on together here kinsman is a old fashioned word used for a relative fierce means violent or frightening and take up service with means become the servant of so after a long walk and search he met one of his relatives this relative was a wolf who was not only strong but also had a frightening look he asked the dog where he was going the dog replied that he was looking for a master and if the wolf would like to be the one the wolf agreed and two went on together paragraph number 4 they walked and they walked and all of sudden the wolf lifted his nose sniffed darted quickly off the path and into the bushes and crept deeper into the forest the dog was much surprised what's come over you master 
he asked what has frightened you so can't you see there is a bear out there and he might eat up both of us you and me here darted means moved quickly suddenly came over you means affected you and sniffed means draw up air audibly through the nose to dig draw up air audibly through the nose to detect something so after walking a long distance suddenly the wolf sniffed moved quickly and went deeper into the forest he was detecting something and was trying to hide the dog was unable to understand this behavior so he asked his master what was affecting him then the wolf told him that there was a bear who might eat them paragraph 5 seeing that the bear was stronger than the wolf the dog decided to take up service with him and he left the wolf and asked the bear to be his master the bear agreed to this readily and said let us go and find a herd of cows i'll kill a cow and then we can both eat our fill so on realizing that the bear was stronger than the wolf the dog changed his mind he left the wolf and turned to the bear he asked him to be his master the bear agreed to it easily he suggested him to search for a herd of cows so that he could kill a cow to fill the stomach paragraph 6 they walked on and soon saw a herd of cows but just as they were about to come up to it they were stopped by a terrible noise the cows were mooing loudly and running in a panic in all directions here herd of cows means a group of cows mooing means sound made by cows terrible means horrible and inner panic means a strong feeling of fear so after walking some distance they noticed a group of cows but as they tried to approach them they were stopped by a horrible noise made by the cows they were mooing aloud and were running here and there because of fear paragraph 7 the bear looked out from behind a tree and then he too ran hesitantly deeper into the forest now why did i have to come here said he to the dog it's the lion who rules the forest in these parts the lion who's he don't you know he is the strongest beast on earth well then I'll say goodbye to you bear. I want a master who is stronger than anyone on the earth. Here hastily means hurriedly, beast means animal and behind means at the back side of something. So the bear looked from behind a tree and started running quickly into the dense forest. He told the dog that This part of forest was ruled by lion. He was the strongest and the most powerful animal on this earth. The dog was surprised to hear this and he immediately left the bear. Paragraph 8 And off the dog went to ask the lion to be his master. The lion agreed to it and the dog stayed with him and served him for a long long time. it was a good life and he had nothing to complain of for there was no stronger beast in the forest than the lion and no one dared touch the dog or offend him in any way here dared means to be brave enough to do something and offend means upset or annoy so now the dog turned to the lion and requested him to be his master the lion accepted 
and the dog started staying with him and served him from a longer duration he felt good and enjoyed his life he had nothing to fear and complain of now he was with the strongest master now he was with the strongest master here no one was brave enough to upset him paragraph 9 but one day the two of them were walking side by side along a path that ran amid bare cliffs when all of a sudden the lion stopped he gave a great roar and struck the ground angrily with his paw with such a force that a hole formed there then he began to back away very quietly what is it master is anything wrong asked the dog surprised i smell a man coming this way the lion said we would better run for it or we will be in trouble oh well then i'll say good bye to you lion i want a master who is stronger than anyone on earth here cliff means a steep high rock and bear means unclothed so sometime later when the two of them were strolling together amidst high steep rocks the lion stopped instantly he roared aloud and struck the ground with his paws so intensely that a hole was formed there after that he was on back foot surprisingly the dog asked his master if anything was wrong the lion told him that a man was coming their way and that they must run away to save themselves hearing this the dog bid him because he wanted the strongest being on the earth as his master last paragraph and of the dog went to join the man and he stayed with him and served him faithfully this happened long long ago but to this day the dog is man's most loyal servant and knows no other master here loyal means faithful so now the dog went to be with the man he stayed with him and became his pride and true friend this incident took place way back but till date the dog is the man's most faithful servant here explanation of chapter 2 gets over now let's solve textual exercises working with text so a summary of the story is given below fill the blanks to complete it taking appropriate phrases from the box so this is the story of a dog who used to be his own master he decided to find a master stronger than anyone else first he found a wolf but the wolf was afraid of the bear the dog thought that the bear was the strongest of all after some time the dog met a lion who seemed the strongest he stayed with the lion for a long time one day he realized that the lion was afraid of men to this day the dog remains man's best friend working with language each word in the box given below indicates a large number of for example a herd of cows refers to many cows complete each of the following phrase with a suitable word from the box so a dash of ships answer fleet a dash of flowers answer is bunch a dash of chicks answer is brood a dash of cattle answer is herd 
a dash of sticks answer is bundle a dash of sheep answer is flock a dash of fish answer is school and the last one a dash of wolves answer is pack next make noun from the words given below by adding any ss or ity for some words we need to add just ty or y first is honest noun form is honesty you have to add only y next is kind answer is kindness you have to add n e double s third is cruel you have to add ty cruelty fourth is calm noun form is calmness you have to add n e double s fifth is sad noun form is sadness add n e double s sixth is active noun form is activeness add n e double s next is creativity you have to add ty but note that whenever there is a e at the last you have to remove e and add i instead of it so spelling of creativity is c r e a t i v i t y next is sincere noun form is sincerity again the last word is e you have to remove e and add i instead of it so sincerity spelling s i n c e r i t y next is cheerful noun form is cheerfulness you have to add n e double s tenth is bitter noun form is bitterness add n e double s eleventh sensitive noun form is sensitivity so again you can see the last word is e so remove it add i and ty s e n s i t i v i t y 12th is great answer is greatness add n e double s here explanation of chapter 2 gets over